Hey guys, Robbie Webster here, and today I'm doing another Blu-ray and DVD collection update. And before I get started, I just want to apologize if there's any background noise. I have the dishwasher running, and also the air conditioning might kick on because it's pretty hot out today. So I just left it on. And also, hopefully, the camera angle looks good. Um, it's kind of difficult to set everything up with one arm. It took me a lot longer than normal, and I usually test the shots out more, but I just kind of did it really quickly, as quickly as possible. And yeah, so hopefully everything looks good. But as you know, before I do these updates, I usually like to give a shout out to a friend of mine. And today I want to give a shout out to the Razman's Reality. And he is just an awesome, awesome guy. He really deserves a lot more views than he gets. And he, he's just a guy that talks about movies and a, a, a few other topics, but mainly movies and TV. And he, he just loves what he does here and he puts a lot of effort into everything that he does. And recently I sent him a package and he has a video up right now of him opening that up so I think you'll enjoy that so go check him out I'll leave a link below and in the annotations but without without further ado let's get started with this update the first thing I have here is the AMC TV show Hell on Wheels the complete first season on blu-ray and I bought this as a blind buy I just came across it on Amazon and I thought it looked interesting and AMC has a pretty good track record with the shows that I've watched on there with Mad Men and Breaking Bad along with all Walking Dead. I mean, they have several that I really like, so I thought I'd give it a chance, and I wasn't disappointed for $20. This is a really good season to buy. Um, it's about this guy who lost his wife and his son during the Civil War, and he's on a path of, like, for revenge, trying to find the people that killed them. And along the way, he ends up taking a job working on the railroad, building the railroad across the country, and uh, this has a really great role from Cole Meany, which it's great to see him in a good show again. He he played Miles O'Brien on Star Trek The Next Generation and Deep Space Nine. He's a really good actor. He's always playing small roles in movies and stuff like that, but it's cool to ha have him have a starring role in a really good TV show, I think. And I never heard anyone talk about this until a few guys started getting it as like, you know, those those guys that get free movies sent to them from the studios all the time. A few of them got this and talked about it, but I had never heard anyone talk about it before that. But I bought it before I ever heard them say anything about it. So, yeah, I highly recommend this show. It's great. Check it out. The next thing I have here, this is one that I wanted to pick up when it first came out. I thought it looked like a really cool set. And I love collecting Blu-ray Digibooks. But it was just a little bit too expensive. And I'm totally glad I waited because it went on sale on Best Buy for $14.99. It's The Town. And this contains the extended cut. I actually... Since I already had seen the theatrical version in the theater, and that was the last time I watched it, I decided to watch the extended cut with the alternate ending, because I wanted to see what the alternate ending was. And first of all, I'll say the extended cut, I didn't see too much important things in that that you would like really need to see. And also, it contained a lot more sexual content and nudity. There was no nudity in the theatrical version, and um, there was just one short scene. Um, a, a really short sex scene that I usually just would skip over and th this one had just a lot more so I, if I ever watch it again in the future with I, I will I like the movie a lot um, I would definitely skip that scene I actually I wouldn't even watch the extended cut and also the, the alternate ending is just really just not a good ending uh, I definitely recommend if it's your first time watching this to watch the theatrical version with the normal with um, not the extended cut and with the normal ending and this is a great movie. It's directed by Ben Affleck. It's also starring Ben Affleck and Jeremy Renner and Rebecca Hall and John Hamm. And it's really cool to see John Hamm in a movie outside of like Mad Men because that's where I know him from. But uh, Ben Affleck plays like the ringleader of this group of bank robbers and they're like really good at what they do. And basically the, 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 um, the whole concept of the film is that there's this town called, I think it's Charlestown in Massachusetts and there's more bank robbers that live in that town or that have come out of that town than any other town in the world so it's kind of crazy and that that that's what the movie's about it's about them trying to get away with what they're doing and you know it's it's really good it has a good love story in it and you know Ben Affleck's a pretty good director um, I I think he's a, a decent actor but I think as a director he has a really good a really bright future ahead of him I look forward to seeing more films from him and the next movie I have here is a really good film uh, starring the voice talents of Johnny Depp. It's Rango. And I watched this on Netflix a long time ago, several months ago. 
and I wanted to buy it ever since then and thankfully it went on sale so I ordered it and then I was really happy to find out that it came with this nice orange slip cover. I was afraid it was just going to come without the slip cover because it's, it's been out for such a long while and I hadn't ordered it yet. But I'm really glad it came with that and this is just a really great movie. It's like a western animated film and it has good action in it and it's really funny too. Uh, very well done movie and there's a cameo which is voiced by Timothy Oliphant of one of my favorite characters of all time and I'm not going to give it away because I loved being surprised by seeing that character in the movie. I really loved that scene. So this is an awesome movie. Check it out. Uh, if, you, if you're not up for buying it, definitely look on Netflix. I'm pretty sure it's still there. And then the next movie I have, this is also on Netflix, so if you don't want to buy it, you could check it out there. It's the Sydney Pol or no, Roman Polanski film. Sorry, I always say the wrong name between those two. I don't know why. I always mix up the names. But this is a Roman Polanski film starring Jack Nicholson and Faye Dunaway. It's Chinatown. And this is considered one of the all-time greatest films. Uh, it's about a private investigator that's hired to um, investigate the, like, chief i don't know what his title is but he's like oh chief engineer of the los angeles water authority and um he there's like some corruption within the water authority the there's there's some involvement with organized crime and that's what he's investigating so that's what the the premise of the movie is and it's very good it's a classic film i, I hadn't seen it until recently but i always hear people talk about it i really enjoyed it so i definitely recommend checking this out and the next movie I have here is one of my all-time favorite science fiction films, and it is the Steelbook edition of The Matrix. And I know a lot, all of these movies came out on, um, Warner, they, Warner Brothers released them as uh, Steelbook releases in the U.S., um, Best Buy exclusives, and I talked about that in the past, but this actually, I got this a couple of weeks before that happened. It's actually the Canadian edition. I had been waiting and waiting to buy this because I love it and then I finally I finally um, decided to spend the money on it and I bought it for $27 which is actually a good deal and then like two weeks later they come out with the US edition and it's like $10 so I spent a little bit extra money but this one does have internal artwork which is better than I, I, I would I'm glad that I have this one rather than the US version just because the internal artwork it basically has you know the scrolling numbers on the inside um, I should have shouldn't have put it in this plastic yet. I should have left it so I could open it up and show you. But yeah, you can look online and see what it's like. And actually, Absolute Sublime One, I know for a fact he has an unboxing video because he picked it up. That's where I first saw it, and I wanted it ever since I saw that video. So the next one I have here, this is one that I watched recently, and I actually didn't expect much from it because I always hear people doing the voice impression and making fun of it, but. There, you know how people can make fun of a character, but it's really not because the movie is no good. It's just because it's a funny character to do, you know. They always do it on, like, Saturday Night Live, and I see them do it on 30 Rock. Um, it's Sling Blade, starring Billy Bob Thornton. This is actually, I believe, directed by Billy Bob Thornton and written by him. And um, I never watched it until recently, and it's very good. It's about this man that um, he is... There's something different about him. I don't know if he's mentally re retarded or something, but he's handicapped mentally in some way, and he has this very interesting way of talking. I'm sure you've heard people do the impressions if you haven't seen the, the film. But when he was a young boy, he he thought that he caught a man raping his mother, and so he murdered the, the man because he caught them. He found them having sex. And then he killed his mother, too, because after he killed the man, the, the mom yelled at him and told him, why did he do that? And then he realized his mom was having an affair and he killed her too when he was just a, a young boy and he ends up going to an insane asylum until he's I think probably in his 40s or 50s and then they just release him and they don't tell him anything they don't help him out in any way so he's just released back into the world he ends up going back to his hometown and trying to start a new life and it's just really good movie I love it and I absolutely love the ending it's a it's a great film I definitely recommend checking this out then the next one I have here, this is another great film, which is, this is where um, Matt Damon and uh, Ben Affleck really found their their f fame, basically. They they won Best Original Screenplay, um, and Robin Williams also, I think he was nominated for, or maybe he won it. I, I know he was at least nominated for Best Supporting Actor. It's Good Will Hunting, starring Matt Damon and um, Robin Williams, and it was written by Matt Damon and Ben Affleck and 
very, very good film. It's about a boy. He's um, very intelligent. He can do anything with math, math related. Like he's like a genius, and he is, he has a job as a janitor in Harvard, I believe. And there, the this math professor puts up this crazy hard uh, math equation for people to sign to solve throughout the whole year. And if anyone solves it, it's like you know that that's like a prodigy. Well, he solves it like the first day or two that it's up. He actually puts the solution on the chalkboard when he was cleaning the hallway. And so they find out that he's a genius and they're trying to like help him out. And there's like a lot of stuff in his past. And Robin Williams plays a therapist that's trying to help Matt Damon deal with like just trying to get him to open up and to be able to um, move on with his life. It's really good film, emotionally gripping, very well directed. I definitely recommend this if you haven't seen it. The next one we have here, this is one I talked about recently in my most underrated movies um, video. It's The Eagle, starring Channing Tatum and Jamie Bell. Oops, sorry about that. I left my phone on. Uh, this is about a man who is in the Roman, uh, he's a Roman soldier, and his father, he's kind of disgraced because his father was in charge of this company of men. I'm not sure what the, you would call that like a squad of Roman soldiers back then or something like I'm I'm not I don't know I don't know anything about that but anyways he's in charge of this this group of men that's um, fighting in the, the war in the a war and he loses this emblem of Rome it's a golden eagle like every when when you dis when you you're like when a group of soldiers distinguishes himself they're given a symbol of Rome to to protect and to carry with them as a sign of strength and they lo they lose it and it, it's gone missing for years and years so he sets out on a quest with his slave um, to go and find this thing and like reclaim his honor and that's what the movie's about very good very underrated and I haven't I've only heard one other person talk about this and I, I definitely recommend checking this out and then the next movie I have here this is one I talked about recently it's planes trains and automobiles I have it on blu-ray um, and I'm really happy because Karate Popcorn, she actually put up this video where she had a bunch of uh, slipcovers for sale and she had this slipcover for sale. It's the uh, the lenticular cover for Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. So it was awesome to be able to grab that and have it for my copy of the movie. So yeah, this is a great movie. I think most of you know what it's about. It stars Steve Martin and John Candy. It has some really famous comedic lines in it. Uh, it's about this guy who's just trying to get home for Thanksgiving to see his wife. and he ends up teaming up with this really dumb guy, John Candy, and they're just having so much trouble getting back home across the country in time. And it's just, it's a great comedy. I really enjoy it. Check it out. Then the next one I have here, this is a Criterion DVD. It's a documentary called For All Mankind. And this is just about the, the space race and going to the moon for the first time. And really, really well done film. It's filmed in 1989. I highly recommend this. It looks awesome on the Criterion set. I believe that they have already released the Blu-ray, so I would like to get that at some point if I ever see it on sale for a really good price, but I couldn't afford the Blu-ray, so I just ended up buying this on eBay. It, the bidding ended at like $4.89, and then it had free shipping, so that's really good. I got this for under $5. And then the last thing that I have is an Alfred Hitchcock film, and this is actually my least favorite Alfred Hitchcock film that I've watched so far. But still, it wasn't bad. I liked a lot of things about it. It had a lot of dark humor to it and a pretty good mystery. It's family plot. And as usual, I have two different copies of it, two different um, editions. I can't hold them both, really. I can try because I only have one on. Just in case you guys didn't realize, I'm wearing a sling. I had shoulder surgery. <laughs> but this movie is about a... Um, it's like there's like this um, couple, they're like con artists and they're trying to con this woman into believing that they um, they have found her heir. Like she's looking for her heir. She's a millionaire and she, she finds out that one of her family members had a, a child and she, that they're, they're trying to con them into believing that they know where he is and try to get the money that she's willing to, to give to this person um, as inheritance. So that's what the, the basic plot of the movie is. And it's pretty good. I mean, I wouldn't spend too much money to watch this. It's, it's, I probably give it like a five or a six out of 10, which is just means it's not bad. It's just okay, barely okay. But it 
compared to all of his other films that I've seen so far, this one just isn't really up to the standard, but I still like it. I'm glad that I have it. I'm glad that I saw it. So check it out. If you're into Alfred Hitchcock, like if you're a hardcore Alfred Hitchcock fan, check it out. I recommend it. So anyways, guys, that's it for my Blu-ray and DVD collection update. I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.